It's heavier than I thought. Well, there you go. Um, so, thank you to the Academy and the Board of Governors for this tremendous honor. We're incredibly humbled to accept the Irvin G. Goldberg Memorial Award and join the company of so many distinguished colleagues. We also want to acknowledge the loss of our fellow honoree, the incredible Quincy Jones. We have many people to thank for this award. 62 years ago, producers Cubby Broccoli and Harry Saltzman created a unique new film genre featuring a secret agent with a license to kill. Incorruptible, totally devoted to Queen and Country, he was a man who did not play by the traditional rules. Audience wondered, was he a hero or was he an anti-hero? The fact is, he was a mixture of both. And for Dr. No, the first film in the series, Cubby and Harry put together a dream team. It included many who had worked for Cubby on previous films, director Terrence Young, writer Dick Maybaum, production designer Ken Adam, cinematographer Ted Moore, stunt arranger Bob Simmons. In addition, the producers engaged composers Monty Norman and John Barry, who were responsible for the incredible James Bond theme, and Maurice Binder, who designed those extraordinary Bond titles. This team stayed more or less intact for the first decade and established the basis for the James Bond films. Essential member, of course, was Sean Connery. Many actors were suggested for this role, but Cubby and Harry stood firm in the faces of objections from the studio, from Ian Fleming, and even from the director, Terence Young. Now, none of this would have been possible without the unwavering support of United Artist Executives, Arthur Krim, Eric Pleskow, and David Picker, who had the foresight to see the potential of the Fleming series as a film a series and um, the support their success at MGM and Amazon. We are extremely grateful that they continue to support us. We dedicate this award to the Dream Team, responsible for creating the first Bond series, the actors who followed Sean, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Tim Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, and of course, Daniel Craig, and the thousands of cast and crew who've continually to make, uh, helped us make these films and to the global audiences who have supported us over the last 60 years. My sister Barbara is only the second woman to be given this prestigious award. And no one could ask for a more capable producing partner. I have to say thank you to you for some, the support and inspiration you give me over the last 40 years. Thank you, Daniel. I cannot put into words how much I value you. And boy, am I glad you said yes. <laughs> Thank you, Michael, for putting up with me and always supporting me. You've been a great partner, brother, and friend. I want to acknowledge Tom Pepsner, who was a wonderful mentor to me, and my very talented, beautiful daughter, Angelica, who is my inspiration and my reason for living. Thank you to the Board of Governors to, for continuing to honor the legacy of Irving Thalberg, who was known as the Boy Wonder, who was driven by his passion for story-taking and succeeded by risk-taking. Thank you for acknowledging producers at a time when career producers are undervalued and unappreciated, when producer credits are being handed out on productions like party favors at a time when we're needed more than ever and to all the producers out there who are struggling to get their, their projects made, keep going. My, <laughs> my
mostly, I'm deeply grateful and profoundly moved because I watched my father accept this award in 1981. A farm boy who made good in Hollywood, this award was his most valued profession, possession. My father was and will always be my North Star. Thank you, Daddy, for giving me the greatest life imaginable. Thank you.